Meet Valerio Vice, the daring Italian who pulled off the world's biggest 100 millimeter bank heist, captivating authorities and igniting a high-stakes chase. From a seemingly ordinary background, Valerio's criminal journey began with a bang in 1972. In prison, he transformed into a criminal prodigy, learning from seasoned inmates. Fueled by a fascination with theft, he evolved into a mastermind, executing audacious post office heists using his signature newspaper disguise. Valerio's ability to outwit the police amplified his notoriety, culminating in the staggering 100 Muller bank robbery that stunned the world. Our story begins with John Valerio's return to prison. Little did he know that this time behind bars would become a pivotal phase for him. Valerio used this time to refine his criminal skills, learning from some of the most notorious criminals. By his late 20s, he had transformed into a seasoned professional, equipped with knowledge and connections that would shape his future. Valerio's growing reputation drew the attention of the police, making him a prime suspect in town robberies. Realizing the risks involved, he took a daring step and temporarily halted his theft operations to avoid capture. Leaving Italy behind, Valerio's journey took him to Switzerland, where he opened a discreet bank account using fake passports. His next destination? London, the place where he'd plot his next moves while mastering English and living under the radar. Returning to his criminal ways, his success streak in London put him back in the spotlight. But the most audacious move was yet to come. Valerio set his sights on robbing the prestigious Knightsbridge Depository Center. Challenges awaited him, from automatic locks to bulletproof glass and cutting-edge security systems. The anticipation builds as we await his brilliant plan to conquer these obstacles. Reality hit hard when Valerio realized his usual methods wouldn't work against the depository's advanced security. Undeterred, he devised a new ingenious plan to outsmart the high-tech defenses. The moment arrives, the execution of the heist. Against all odds, Valerio pulls off the unthinkable, and then the unexpected twist. Valerio disappears without a trace after the grand heist. His legacy is established, leaving us all wondering about his fate and the enduring mystique that surrounds his audacious feats. Valerio ingeniously transformed from an ordinary guy to a savvy businessman. To infiltrate, he slipped into the bank's facade, disguising himself impeccably. He cleverly posed as a client, making calculated deposits to scrutinize the bank's ins and outs. Strategic alliances played a key role. Valerio befriended Latif, the manager, extracting vital intel. Through Latif's girlfriend, Flavia, Valerio uncovered financial woes, creating leverage. Crafting the heist required meticulous planning. Valerio mapped the bank's layout, assembling a dedicated team willing to accept smaller shares. His arsenal was complete, powerful tools, a secure hideout, and a precise timeline. Choosing the opportune moment was pivotal. Valerio marked July 12, 1987, etching his name in history. Dressed in suits, Valerio and his accomplice mingled seamlessly. They gained insights during a guided tour, uncovering basement secrets untouched by cameras. The break-in unfolded ingeniously. Navigating the basement's hidden rooms, Valerio's plan materialized. With precision, he emptied deposit boxes. The clock raced to 5.30 p.m., intensifying the drama. Swift execution followed. Boxes cracked open, tension mounting. Valerio's escape was a masterstroke, fading into London's labyrinthine streets, leaving no trace. Valerio's entry into the bank, gun in hand, sets the stage for a gripping showdown with employees held hostage. With strategic finesse, he seizes control and navigates the warehouse where a security guard is subdued. Manipulating compliance, Valerio tightens his grip. The gang's race against time ensues, cracking boxes under pressure. 
Despite bleeding fingers, Valerio remains resolute. An unexpected twist emerges as a gang member unknowingly meets the bank's manager. With tension escalating, Valerio orchestrates his escape, a heartbeat away from discovery. Meet Latif, the manager who cunningly orchestrated the heist, skillfully eluding identification by involving new employees. Cameras disabled, suspicion deflected. Latif's moves are intriguing. Chaos ensues with clients fearing for their savings. A bloody fingerprint surfaces, hinting at the thief's presence. Valerio's escape shocks all, leaving investigators racing against time. Amid panic, the puzzle unravels through interviews. The stolen amount's staggering rise from five malodors to 40 malodors astounds. Police investigators plunge into the case, navigating challenges and estimating the haul. A secret partner emerges, an inside job. The fingerprint clue points to Valerio Vice, unlocking a recklessness in his nature. Lavish living and a bold return intrigued investigators. International collaboration deepens the chase as a network of watchmen monitors Valerio's moves. Spotlights shift as a police sighting in London exposes Valerio's costly mistake. Truth surfaces as Valerio reveals Latif, the inside man. Unveil Latif's motives, enticed by financial troubles. Recovery efforts yield 10 mini dollars in treasures. Sentences are handed, revealing Valerio's shocking admission of more crimes. Chillingly, Valerio expresses readiness to continue. Prison time follows and is released with conditions. And that is how Valerio's reign ended.